Also right now, closing arguments underway in the penalty phase of Sean Great's murder trial. News 5's Bob Jones has been covering this case right from the start, and Bob, a psychologist who evaluated Great, testified for hours today. Well, Rob, today that psychologist said that Great has a personality disorder and that he had a chaotic childhood. But should that convince the jury to spare his life? Today, the lead prosecutor said no. We will respect your verdict regardless of what it is. But the state believes the appropriate verdict in this case will be the death penalty as to each victim. The prosecution did not call any witnesses in the penalty phase and rested its case. The same jury that decided Great was guilty of the 2016 strangulation murders of Stacey Stanley Hicks and Elizabeth Griffith could decide by tonight whether Great deserves to die for his crimes. The defense is trying to provide reasons or mitigating factors as to why Great should not get a death sentence for killing the women inside an Ashland house. Great's sister, Barb Charter, didn't want her face shown but testified that Great and their mother had a control controlling relationship with each other and that one day when he came home from school he learned his mother had moved to Kentucky and took his clothing with her. Next we heard from clinical psychologist Dr. John Fabian who analyzed Great and testified Great had a learning disability, ADHD, along with mild depressive and personality disorders. Dr. Fabian also suggested Great's disdain for his mother may have shaped who he became, someone who was reckless and impulsive. As an adult he was significantly impaired and these personality disorders I think are much rooted in in his childhood dysfunction and really just how this intimacy or lack thereof and emotional connection with with women. Under cross-examination, prosecutors pointed out disturbing details in the doctor's report, including that Great said and admitted that he was a dangerous man and hoped to kill more people when he went to prison. Right now, closing arguments are going on inside the courtroom. The jury should be deliberating within the next hour or two. Live in Ashland, Bob Jones, News 5.